is the 56th year of Carnival. It first began in 1966, celebrating Caribbean culture, Caribbean history, Caribbean heritage. The reality is for, for many people, the last years have been really hard with the pandemic and we, we, we love mixing and mingling. Now there's been a pent up demand for Carnival. Many of the sound systems, many of the floats have spent many months preparing, you know, designing the costumes, you know, getting the, the sound system ready. I think it's a pent up demand. And that's why I think today and tomorrow, you're going to see hundreds of thousands of people out and about. We think it could be up to two million people. We're seeing lots of people out and it's great to see people back in the heart of our city. Well, that, that summer of 2017, uh, I'll never forget, the awful fire at Grenfell Tower, 72 people perished, men, women and uh, children, grandparents, parents, uncles, aunties, uh, yes, daughters and uh, sons. What the community wants is two main things. One is for justice to happen, those responsible to be held to account, that still not happen. And secondly, for this never to happen again. I don't think we can guarantee it could never happen again. It's really important to use every opportunity we have to remind those in power, the government, those in the building industry, to make sure they learn their lessons. And it's really important for us to remember those 72 lost their lives, those communities still are struggling. And it's really important to remember the Grenfell Dow community. So the cost of living crisis is affecting everyone. Uh, I've been speaking to parents who are skipping meals so their kids can eat. I worry about pensioners uh, not keeping themselves cool because they worry about turning on their fan because of the cost of uh, energy. What's really important is whether it's Liz Truss or Rich Sunak, the next Prime Minister has an emergency budget to address the cost of living crisis. We've got to make sure families are supported. We're seeing those who want to have floats, those who want to have uh, sound systems pulling out because they can't afford to pay their bills. It's really important the government steps up. It's very important for the government to step up for everyone. It's the most vulnerable that I'm particularly worried about, but everyone should be given help. The key thing in London is we need rent freezes for the next two years. That will save the average renter £3,000. Those in benefits should be receiving benefit increases that are linked with inflation. Everyone on universal credit, their children should receive free school meals. The government should be rewarding our public servant heroes, those in the fire service, those in the police, those transport workers, those teachers, those nurses, with a pay increase that meets the cost of living uh, increase we've seen, that meets inflation. What's not acceptable is for the government to have their head in the sands like ostriches and do nothing about it. You know, tax cuts by themselves aren't enough. We need you know, VAT cuts on fuel. We need to make sure the government supports those families really struggling with extending the windfall levy. Keir Starmer and the Labour Party have put forward a plan to freeze energy bills. The government's going to adopt that ASAP.